Hello and welcome back to the Fusion Minis. It's been a while. Again. I know. But now, here it is, episode 42. And it's being recorded because a new subscriber to this sweet channel, Hacked Techno Thief, wanted to know if I could explain to him the time speed and time stretcher notes. Yes, I can. Let's go. And to explain explain these techniques, I of course need a loader node. This is the footage I'm going to play around with. Yep. Okay, I jump back to frame zero and shift spacebar, open the two nodes, time speed and the time stretcher node, like this, and then I plug my loader node into these two. Okay. Let's start with the time stretcher node. On the left, you whoops, can see the original from the loader and on the right, the time stretcher and soon the time speed node. Okay, you might already have noticed that there is a keyframe already set once you open the node. It's green. And let me move the playhead here a little, there is a green sign too. Okay, that means it probably has something to do with keyframes. And yes, it has. On frame 40, I will now create a second keyframe simply by changing the source time value. I change it to 10 in my example here. And now watch what happens once I play it back. It's some sort of super slow-mo clip now. Whew. And once it hits frame 40, it freezes. Just like that. And one more thing you have to take care of after I stop this. Stop. Stop. Thank you. Um, are these two interpolation modes, nearest and blend? Blend works pretty, pretty neat, if you ask me. It basically creates frames in between those frames that already existed and yeah, blends everything nice and smooth together. <laughs> Let me uh, switch to nearest for a second to show you the difference. Um, nearest and now I play back and you can see it just looks like there are frames missing. It simply does not look good at all. So in general I would say blend and you're good to go and with sample spread you can um, adjust your blending a little bit more and that's all there is to it basically. Um, of course you can set more than two keyframes, you can reverse your clip or play around in the spline editor, maybe whatever you like. Back to the flow, that's time stretch. Now let's have a look at time speed. By default, this note does not change anything at all. Let me play this back for you. You can see left and right are similar. Now let me double the speed here and who? That is some really serious bread breaking. <laughs> okay. Um, you can offset your footage with this um, delay value here. Um, let me offset my footage by 20 frames. At first, it seems like I did something wrong. The footage is gone, but hey, there it is. It just started 20 frames later. I honestly don't know why you would want to use that function, but if you type in a negative value here, minus 20, you obviously offset your clip in the opposite direction, meaning it starts at frame 20 now. Um, yeah, I can see that come in handy. And finally, the interpolation modes just like in the time stretcher note. And yes, that's basically it. I hope that covered your question, man. Um, if not, let me know. And um, yeah, have a good day, everybody. See you in the next video.
Thank you.